Hey, it's Kate from Pre-Nursing Smarter. I hope you're having an awesome day today. In this video, we're going to go over the genital urinary system, talk about the functions of the kidneys, go over some basic kidney anatomy, and then do an outline of the main study points for this T's body system. This was a request from YouTube comments, so if there are other things that you'd like to see, please let me know and I'll do my best to make a video. Of course, I have all the material you need to know for the teas in my teas prep program. And I have more details on my website as well if you're looking for free teas resources. I'm in the anatomy and physiology module three, which covers the endocrine, genital urinary, immune, and skeletal systems. If you haven't already checked out my endocrine videos, I'll link to that, but that's another great resource where I do another outline and talk about the main functions for you. You'll need to know kidney anatomy and functions, the basics of kidney filtration, how urine is made. Those are some of the most important things to know for the T science section. To help you memorize this, I have four pages of flashcards already done for you. Let's go over some of those now. List the five key functions of the kidneys. Number one, they make urine. This is waste from the digestive or gastrointestinal system from protein breakdown. The urine is waste from protein breakdown. Two, they filter the blood of salt, nutrients, water, and waste. Three, maintain water homeostasis. Four, maintain blood pressure. And five, activate vitamin D. Now let's take a look at some kidney anatomy here. Name the three regions of the kidneys. One, we have cortex. Two, mentucula. Three, renal pelvis. The cortex is the outer kidney layer with blood vessels and a majority of nephrons. The majority of nephrons are in the cortex. The cortex also makes a hormone that encourages bone marrow to make more red blood cells. The medulla is the inner kidney layer. It contains some nephrons as well, and it concentrates urine and is involved in salt water balance. The renal pelvis is the bean-shaped part of the kidney where waste fluid drains out of the kidneys and into the ureters. It's the central collecting region. The nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. It makes urine and it consists of the glomeruleus, renal tubule, and collecting tubule. I'm sorry if I mispronounce this. I never can quite speak right when I'm reading things out loud. The glomeruleus filters red blood cells out of blood before filtering uses blood pressure to begin filtration, and is a small network of capillaries in the upper end of the nephron. For the T's, it's huge to know that the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. Convoluted loops filter water and nutrients so that they can stay in the body, filter waste from protein digestion, which is urea, uses ion pumping to diffuse nutrients back into blood. These are also called the renal tubules. So one thing to know about the kidneys is that they remove waste, the urea and other waste products that are going to go out in urine, but they also filter back into the body water, nutrients. Kidneys work really hard to keep the good stuff of blood in the body and the bad stuff of blood out of the body. Collecting tubule. It's the part of the nephron that collects urine from the distal convoluted tubule. Ureter is the duct leading from the kidney to the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is a hollow muscular sac that holds and stores urine. It's elastic to stretch and it connects to the nervous system. A sometimes overlooked way of studying for the T's is it's not just memorizing anatomy structures, but the T's is going to ask you about different connection points with different body systems. Students sometimes overlook this. And I help you walk through this. We've already seen a little bit of this here where the urinary bladder connects to the nervous system and the kidneys are working with the cardiovascular system and also the skin when they activate vitamin D. So seeing how some of these different pieces of anatomy work together with different body systems is a really great thing to know for the T's. So the urinary bladder connects to the nervous system. This is kind of how you know that you have to go to the bathroom when it's full. The urethra is the tube leading from the urinary bladder to outside of the body. So the urethra goes outside the body, and the ureter is the duct from the kidney to the urinary bladder. Both of these carry urine, 
the ureter is carrying urine inside the body, and the urethra is carrying urine to go outside the body. I hoped reviewing some of these flashcards of kidney anatomies helped you. Now let's take a look at the outline for this body system. In my course, you can go ahead and download this. If you want to grab something to take notes with, I'll read this out loud and you can take notes. You can make your own notes or you can play this to help with memorization, especially if you're an auditory learner. I know some people listen to my audio lessons in the shower, in the car, whatever. Goal here is to help you study smarter and memorize. Let's go over the system summary. Kidneys affect the entire body. It's not just learning the anatomy of the kidneys, it's learning how the kidneys work and function with other body systems. Kidneys make urine. Waste is collected from the digestive system. Urea is from protein breakdown. It's made of ammonia. Urine has excess salt, but it's also mostly water. Kidneys filter the blood of salt, nutrients, water, and waste. Kidneys maintain water homeostasis. Kidneys maintain blood pressure through renin. Kidneys activate vitamin D. And kidneys assist in red blood cell production. The kidneys work with the cardiovascular system. Kidneys filter blood. Blood enters through the renal artery and blood that's filtered returns to the body through the renal vein. Kidneys release renin to filter blood. This regulates blood pressure. And renin, so I have seen across my years of helping people study for the T's that renin can be considered a hormone and an enzyme. So I just want to put that out there that you might see that in your tea studying materials. The kidneys have three main regions. Cortex, it's the outer layer, contains the majority of nephrons, and makes erythropoietin. Sorry for mispronouncing things. The medulla is the inner layer. It also has nephrons, but just not the majority, and it concentrates urine. The renal pelvis is the bean area, and it's where waste drains out of the kidneys. The nephron is the kidney's functional unit and filtering unit. It consists of the glomeruleus, which filters red blood cells out of the blood before filtering. Red blood cells are removed first before blood starts getting its more heavy-duty filtering with nutrients, water, and waste. Blood pressure is used to drive the filtration process. Convoluted loops filter water and nutrients so that they stay in the body. Filtered waste from protein digestion. So urea is the waste that goes and becomes urine. The convoluted loops use ion pumping to diffuse nutrients back into the blood. Kidneys make urine. Urine largely contains waste urea from protein digestion, salt, and water. Filtered waste leaves the kidneys through the renal pelvis. The collecting ducts drain into the renal pelvis. And then from the renal pelvis, waste travels down through the ureter. Urine is stored in the bladder. The bladder is elastic. It's connected to the nervous system. And the bladder volume is around 500 to 1,000 milliliters. Urine leaves the body through the urethra. This covers a lot of the main study points you'll see for T's, science, anatomy, and physiology, covering the genital urinary system and the kidneys, filtration, and urine production. I know this is a lot, but I hope this helped you. We did this in only a couple minutes, and you can come back to this anytime to help you memorize. If you want more details and understand it better, I have more lessons here. And then I also cover every body system you'll see on the T's and have more than a thousand practice questions to help you apply what you've learned. Keep up the great work with your cheese prep and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.